Hmm, a little bit pressure from Mr. Fred. Yeah, but it's compos. Compos are uh, not what you you don't want to pressure with compos on flat land. They're slower. Yeah. And they're, yeah. It's like chariots. Chariots crush them. And chariots are much more cheaper, which is so important. Actually, that's one of the reasons that Merrill lost the game. I'm like, he had at the well, not matching even the early game, but basically he built it composites, composites, composites as Russia. Come on, twenty four horses. <laughs> so Fred was like walking late, but they're not as good on a. Yeah, but he was attacking. That's the problem. Ah, oh, I lost fast click there. Oy, oy, oy. This spearman is not looking good. He no, he's got a rush shot. No. He dies because I don't get the click, unfortunately. Yep. He got an insta heal off in the middle of that turn too. I shouldn't have needed the spearman, but he got the insta heal. Yep. And Rhodes, filthy. I gotta say, I'm super amazed about your performance in this game right now. I think I did a little bit better in the last game. Uh, like 100% better. I'm learning. I'm learning, yours. It's a one v one learning. <laughs> Having gold, tech, cities. Workers, roads, bloody hell. Don't go overboard. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, where's the settler going? Give us the I'm secret. I'm expanding to the, the whales. Whoa. You're actually quite like. It's ballsy moves. I mean, like, those two cities are like so far, far away from yeah. your theoretically main force in the front line. The top one's so far away from his main force, too. All the cities are clustered yeah. south. If he goes north, that's not that big deal. The other one's a little vulnerable. But it's all yeah. pretty low investment. If it just dies right now, it's three, it's three, it's three yeah, turns. Yeah, that's true. That yeah, that's true. Yes, that's true. That's actually what a lot of people do not understand. For example, I make that mistake a lot of the time. That actually making a city, even if you're going to lose it, is so much more beneficial if it's gonna gain you something, like even a one unit or some damage or some gold or anything, it's so much more beneficial to just make a city and lose it than like don't make it at all. Which is, I don't think that's true in free for alls because I think there's a no free for alls of course not. No, like no. To science, but I think in no. the the production but game, in duels, in duels, yeah, in duels teamers, but yeah, in free for alls definitely not. <laughs> Always blame Purify. Yeah, happiness is a little bit of an issue, guys, right now. But remember, I am improving Marble right now. So I'm, I'm basically, I'm negative three right now, but I'll be negative, I'll be plus one when I get the Marble online. I'm ahead in Hammers, ahead in Army, and I'm uh, still expanding. And I still have happiness, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling okay right now. I already have more text than I got last game by like four. <laughs> four? So, four? Only like four? four five it text. feels I like have... more. Okay, give me a second. Saying... I'm, go I'm gonna give you a count. Uh, writing, masonry, mathematics, uh, construction. That's four. Okay, four. Yeah, alright, fine. You're right. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, uh, no, okay, never mind. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Well, I still wonder, like, I gotta admit, Fred is not in good shape in here. And this is because... Right. He's got well, just as many cities. I'm on... No, 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 no. You're, this is this is the reverse situation from the game before. Though, like, there was no huge deals in the early game that happened. But you're gonna get the religion. And he's not gonna get the religion. So, like... For now, you're sort of even with you with a little bit more advantage thanks to your plants. With the extra that you don't have to improve copper, for example. And overall, the city plants right now, earlier city plants, especially the Vlad Vlad Vladivostok. But basically, in the later game, the situation is reversed. You're gonna get the religion, you can get plus two gold, and it's gonna be very, very big. Because this is definitely a crossbow game, at least from your side, this is going to be a crossbow game. I have no idea how Fred's going to deal with that, though. Right. So, I mean, certainly that's my thought process. I mean, like, I, 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 I almost, I wanted to go river happiness, but I had no rivers. Like, there are no rivers that I'm settling. So I'm like, you know, I, I don't really know how good a faith pantheon is in a in a in a one v one. But I thought, you know, like, could be good here, right? Like, there's, yeah, I'm Russia. I'm gonna work my iron. I'm Russia. Like, I, I want to get the two gold. I, I think. 
compared to all the other religious choices, I think two gold per turn is just so much better. I gotta say one thing though, I still I kind of reminded myself that he's got plus two science pantheon. So I presume this is gonna be a he's gonna get crossbows too because the land is quite quite good with gold. And if you're keeping the army as well, is huge for science. Yeah. So I imagine you two will have crossbows. Though if you get great life, you could be a ton, well. I'm not actually sure. He's got the pyramids. If he did city connections, he might be at a similar time than you. But this is going to be a crossbow game. <laughs> Curious. I swear, guy asked how come there's no city states because in the dual setup, you tell the city states off. There's too much RNG in city states, like faith city states versus other types of city states, military city states, stuff like that. The quests are all RNG as well. It's you know what comes up, so they turn it off because it makes the game a little, a little bit imbalanced. There's still one little thing though that I don't like about your game. Well, only one little thing: monuments. Monuments. Big monuments. Yeah, you miss that monuments. Like the extra happiness would kick in right above now, so you could simply grow with the city connection soon. So. So next turn versus this turn, huh? No, 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 no. We've got like zero monuments, like one or two monuments. Yep, That's I it. get a po I get a cultural policy next turn. Yep. You could have picked golden age. <laughs> oh no! What you doing? You gonna pick golden age? Well, it's because I'm not gonna pick golden age. I'm looking at the timing of my great library, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to start building. A yeah, but do you? But do you see the minus? Yeah, okay. You, I, I assume you did see it. <laughs> Your minus gold right now. Minus ten doesn't look pretty. But monuments would make that even worse. I'd be minus fifteen right now. That's true, unless you would pick a golden age first. <laughs> Which is also quite popular, popular actually, because the, that early golden age, most of the people do tend to pick happiness first. Uh, and Lech, Lech told me never pick the golden age first. He said to you, never pick golden age first? Yeah, he said always go uh, meritocracy first. Yeah, but there's like a slight issue in here. Like there's, you gotta look at two things, basically. If you have the road connections when you're gonna hit happiness, then it's cool. But if you do not have the gold connection, the, the city connections, there's no point really and actually the golden age um in a tight spot lets you get more science and it also gets you a little bit like uh with your first infrastructure basically you build it a little bit faster of course not too much but a little bit faster But yes, most of the time you do not want to pick Golden Age because you want to have your infrastructure ready before you're going to use the Golden Age. But I like you this map control of the middle, though it is cost costing you gold, which I slightly don't like. Don't like, just slightly. <clears throat> now. If this happened to not be a crossbow, crossbow game, I'm going to be super sad. <laughs> <laughs> because my predictions are not really that great. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you can recognize that. <laughs> recognize your limitations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but this is because you're poking him. If you would not be poking he him... He pokes me! Would... Yeah, I'm poking him back. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he poked me first, Joris. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Who had units on his city? Huh? <laughs> well, you know, he put those units in my base early. Mm, poking me. Ah, so this is the revenge for the early game, all right. Fine. Right. <laughs> they poked me last game. <laughs> ah, okay. 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 They took my city last game. You don't remember Salvador? I remember Salvador. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is he having a city? Nah, that's prior mids. Okay, so you've got, you're on the same cities. Two, 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 three. You do have a population advantage, which is cool. Do you even have... Will you have fishing in this game? I don't have that. <laughs> Might be a problem. But eventually you will have, right? Uh, I'm going to try to tech for it. Maybe I can break library into sailing. 
<laughs> I don't think that's a good plan, though. <laughs> okay, so six hammers advantage right now. But you do have two extra happiness now. And you soon should be having another two extra happiness from City Connection, which is neat. Yeah, this is looking good. Need more workers. I really wish the pyramid yes. they got through. Yes, kind yes, of need more workers. Like one worker per city is like a minimum for a very good echo game. Eventually, would you would probably want more, but like one is just that sweet spot. Hey, Grim. Oh, my coffee just ended. Damn it. You're not thinking about actually pillaging that copper? Uh, not strongly. There's a lot of chance around there. I don't really want to walk into that city too much, although I'm going... Okay, but you're kind of, like, wanting right now to force a shot onto your composite. There we go. Yeah. You could now easily step like a chariot there. Yeah. Could be. That would actually be really smart, yours. I don't know why it didn't. Didn't, didn't enter my mind for some reason. Despite yeah. the fact that the whole point of this was denying the copper. <laughs> hmm. I don't like that part about minus 14 gold right now. But it should time out right and you should be able to get guilds. If you're gonna actually get it, are you actually wondering about getting a great engineer to engineer Machu Picchu or? I am. You are. Okay, cool. Thinking about it. Just, I have two cities on mountains and if this is gonna go to crossbows, getting that gold production would be pretty good. Yeah, that's, ins that's insanely good one there. 7017. It's so sad that you did not have a chance to see his capital. It would be so much more beneficial to yeah. see what he's doing if he's trying to actually get great life. The only redeeming feature is he never saw my capital either. So. Yeah, that's true. But it's kind of a, I mean, we're pretty far away on this map. It's one of the bigger roles. So. Yep. Plus, who needs science, right? Yeah, theoretically, yes, but. Just but. You are aggressive though in here. Putting the pressure up. <laughs> Doesn't let him do infrastructure either, right? So. Yeah, that's true. And I have fairly okay infrastructure right now. You think I should have built uh, monuments? I don't know. I never know about well, monuments. They're such a well, gold income. Up gold upkeep on me. Well, again, as I like uh, explained it, like the the game before, with the monument thing, it is on a on a map like skirmish planes. A lot of times, generals decide games. Now, in this situation, in this particular situation, a chance that actually somebody is gonna plant a frontal city in here with such an open space in south as well at Orenburg uh, is quite slim. Oh, he's got fresh sticks every single turn on you. <laughs> I know he does. I know he does. I fight, fight. I fought the last duel too. I mean, every once in a while I'll get one, but for the vast majority of the game, he has first move against me. So, so basically, like here, it shouldn't like really matter how many great generals you have. So, like delaying monuments is not a big deal, but most of the time when generals do actually decide the games, you want to have monuments as fast as possible, because so first honor. of all, you want to yeah, you want to finish liberty and you want to finish honor. Well, honor at least get the great general. And on top of that, if the game will last longer, if you're able to get more experience, that's that's a that that's huge. That's a huge. That's really strong social policy in in duels and teamers. Mm -hmm. For the insta heals. Grim. Grim. Fredo is playing strangely this game. Command from Grim. What does that mean, Grim? Why is he spy? How is he playing strangely? Defensively, probably. <laughs> you have a choice about playing defensively. <laughs> no. I've got a knock outside his doors. He's got to do some defending. <laughs> Though I, I strongly like... 
I dislike what you're doing right now. Just a tiny little bit. I'm like, I don't know if you're planning in your mind right now to try to attack him, but I would strongly like say that you should uh, skip a couple of units or put hammers into the units and just queue them up. Not trying to build them, but seems like you are actually trying to deal some damage. I just kill units more than anything else. Like again, I don't, I don't have enough experience with the late game of, of duels to get any sense of scout. How... Go hero scout. Go hero scout. Oh, that's your call. Oh damn it! Oh yo 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 yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that was a bad move on this attack. Now he's gonna push you back. This is what I'm basically what I was trying to say at the start of this game. If you're gonna poke somebody, he can like he's gonna be forced to make units, right? So if you like want to do economy and war at the same time, it's not gonna work because at some point you're gonna be without the wave of units, right? Like right now. Yeah, and basically your force at the front is getting slaughtered right now. Yep. What do you now, think of this decision, Yoris? I choose to move the profit. The good shot. The being that uh, I want to I want to get the profit up front so it can pressure everything. Everything's about the same size. Yep. You like I that? like that idea. I like that idea very much. Ay, ay, ay. Especially while you're building a great library in your capital. You don't want to push forward if you're building a wonder in your capital. <laughs> Especially without a vision of his capital. Because at this time, he would, if he's not building a wonder, in this time while you're building a wonder, he could have four units in his capital. Okay, that's huge. I, I, I thought it was... Man. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I feel uh. like... Maybe we missed it or not. We'll see in a moment. I'll explain it in a minute. Yeah. Just a minute. Just just soon. Maybe next turn. So I'm thinking of settling down there. I'm a little torn right now. I don't really want to just settle a city in me. I guess I, I'm, the happiness is what it is right now. I'll be negative one for that. I don't really want to go negative one. But I maybe should settle the city, you know, just to get it down. Like if I lose uh, the settler, so what? I've already built the settler. Yeah. I can't, you can't, the problem with compos is you can't run away from chariots. They're just... Yes. They're not they're not fast enough to run away from chariots. Yes, Rhoda, that's filthy on TeamSpeak, but we we're on Skype, so that's why he sounds different. Oh wow. Uh, uh, oh, oh wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like <laughs> And you're still like Oh, the general again without protection. Oof. Yeah, you're worried about the general. My generals. Yes, generals yes I'm fun. always worried about generals. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a habit from playing on skirmish map. <laughs> no, no, sure. No, I, I mean it is a dangerous position. Uh, I'm feeling like this, yeah. this, this, this. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it actually true you can't raise holy city? Can't raise holy cities. This is actually quite neat thing yeah. that you're doing. It could be pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> One turn. Yeah, at least you fix your gold problem. Well, there's... Yeah, see, that's all part of the plan. The grand yeah. plan. Yeah. <laughs> Just throw units away till we're out of gold. <laughs> oh, wow. You gonna try to snipe that horseman? I'll try, but it's not gonna happen, right? He's got first move on me. <laughs> Yeah, well, you should definitely back up. I'm like, Yaroslav is so wide open. It's at this stage of the game, it's, the city is defenseless, basically. It's, the only good thing about it see, is. I just got beat to religion, Yoris, for moving that profit. Wow. How the f. He built fucking, uh, we missed it earlier, I believe. Stonehenge? I'm certain he built Stonehenge. And oh, he had Stonehenge wow, plus, plus shrines, and he beat me to religion. That's huge. Isn't that ridiculous? That's huge. We did miss it. Yeah, that's huge. Okay, Plan B. <laughs> yeah, right. Like Plan B. Like now I have to. And by one turn, one fucking turn. It made me so mad. I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh. Dude, Faith Pantheon doesn't beat that bullshit. 
Well, it doesn't. It's five eight. If you build it, sh oh, 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 go, go back, go back home, filthy, go back home. <laughs> what are you talking about? You think I should <laughs> this, be worried? Yes, I think you should back up right now. Again, you're like leaving a a general. <laughs> yeah. Oof, run away. Run away. <laughs> I'll be paranoid. Fine. It's no problem. <laughs> I'm gonna so what would you pick here? You pick tithe, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, not certain about it. I like your idea about ceremonial bar bur burials, or whatever it's called. Yeah, ceremonial burial. That's right. Yeah, it's uh, actually a neat idea. I like it because you're. I didn't know what to go for fuller belief though. Go, go on. Explain why you like it. Uh, I like it because you're planning on the frontal city, so like Fred did not move his prophet, he definitely planned in the back, at least from what I can see. This means you're definitely guaranteed your corner of the map being your religion right now. So that's extra three or four happiness at least, which is quite a lot. That's what it feels and on, like as well. and on, yeah, and on top of that, uh, basically he will, the problem is his religion probably is plus two gold. So, Ty doesn't really compensate for plus to gold per city as we discussed oh, earlier. No. So, Ty, Ty, for church property is just so amazing. Oh, Fuss, you what's up with that fate? Why is it always my fault? I'm like, every single time when filthy is around, everything is my fault. <sighs> <laughs> so, dude, how did he see my scout here? Because he saw that scout above Kranis Church or whatever it was. I thought I'd get that worker steal, but he sees it. <laughs> I'm a little bit more worried about that immense amounts of chariots in the middle right now. Yeah, I'm not real thrilled about that either. <laughs> That's why sometimes you just don't want to poke other people. <laughs> nah, this this religion... Oh, at least you got great life. Good stuff. I'm about to lose all my units. Yes, but at least you got great light. <laughs> it's true. I'll be full of science when I die. <laughs> no, no worries. I'm like, as I said, this land is quite, quite hard to get into. Now, Yaroslav, perhaps you could lose, uh, but just perhaps because you still got four chariots and two composites. The city on the hill. Moscow should be building a unit though, but. Well, probably just gonna, great library. I made yeah, you're probably them. gonna fix it. Yeah, so you I kind of have the. I chopped my I chopped my lumber in uh in Moscow. It didn't speed up the great library by one turn, and it removed my only my last production tile for that city, which was pretty stupid. Mm. I should have built that into a, a lumber mill. You 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 could also like Yaroslav is yeah hard to defend, but you could get like units behind a little bit, and you can just flank and try to flank from the north if he's gonna try to attack there. No, Lost Gear, man, I don't agree. The, the tight is the problem with tight is basically you need four followers to get one gold. Okay, so imagine like to compensate for the plus two per city, you need the eight population city. Okay, that's the difference. So there's just no way those two 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 founders are equal. Just no way. By the way, do you know if it's actually four per city, or is just the total number of followers divided by four is how much gold you get? Do you know? I think it's four followers. Uh, give me a second. My cat again can't get into the room. Yeah, I'm in a bit of trouble here, though, guys, because I'm getting pushed out. I'm getting pushed back into my lands, and he's got a very mobile force of chariots there, and I do not have mobility here. I'm very split up. And I'm not able to uh, defend very efficiently here. I don't have enough roads. I don't have fucking pyramids. Piss me off. There you go. Ow. Destroying everything in here. <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, I'm back. Did he I miss anything? His religion on his cities, because all he has to do, is, all his city has to do is flip Low Sky, and his cities, because they're so small in Liberty Games, the uh, cities are going to flip super, super quick. It's going to be extremely difficult to get tithe gold, and it's going to be very easy to get church property gold. Yep, exactly. So Aqua says it's four follower. It's four yes. followers total. It doesn't matter how they're split up. Yeah, but even but then, still, like, yeah, yeah. Still, you gotta have eight pop somewhere to compensate for one 
Pop City. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty absurd. I just, I mean, like, I understand initiation rights being banned because that's super, super good. But I also think, to some degree, that church property is too good. I mean, the games that I've ever played, the only dual games I've ever played, all gold from religion has been banned. So. I just got you. There we go. The kitty is here, so you'll be fine. Did you ever think that maybe your cat isn't Polish? She doesn't understand Polish? Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned, cat. like, no, it's a British cat. Ah. He, she was born in Poland, though, but the race is, I don't know the in English if it's actually the same, but in here it's called actually British. <laughs> this is like a British cat. So maybe she understands English, but I don't believe that's true. Kitty, attack. Attack yours, kitty. No. We'll see if she understands. No. Okay, and now there's, there's a slight problem that you're facing also. Like, how many turns until you get the Liberty Finisher? Well... 17 turns. And now this is a huge problem about not having monuments, okay? Because uh, if Fred... Fred's got a first religion right now. And yep. he's got a science pantheon. Yes, he did miss great life. But the problem is you will not be able to get Machu for 18 turns at least, at least now. And he's going to get a free great engineer before he's going to reach guilds. So there's a huge chance if he's keeping up with the gold and science, thanks to the Pantheon and connections, he will actually steal Machu from you. And oh yeah, losing life... that religion was a huge kick in the nuts. Yeah, and and I'm not great... even sure how it happened. Like, I mean, like, yeah, he built Stonehenge. We only finished Stonehenge like four or five turns ago. It wasn't, it wasn't early Stonehenge. It was quite late. So I assume that the faith, of, the four faith I've been working the entire game will get me there, but it just didn't. It was just a little slow. Moving it was uh, not quite efficient. Hmm. If I had settled the turn I that popped out, I would have had that religion. By the emotions you're saying, am I assuming something right in here? <laughs> I'm not telling you shit, worse. <laughs> <laughs> you figure it out for the, rest of the viewers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I, I figured this game, you know, I'm like, all right, well, this game, I'm gonna get religion with the faith map down, and I didn't, because the problem is there's one religion that's <laughs> to the other one, so getting first religion. I mean, first religion is really important free for alls too, yes. but it's also yes. very important here. So. Yeah, but the difference in free for alls basically, you you can't really, even if you commit like 100 percent into that's like trying to get religion with buildings and normal stuff. You, you can't even dream about having it at the end because there's like things like natural wonders, fate stuff. It's just so RNG that's like amazing. Oh, I think your Brian City actually is going down. I first sound happy. No. You feel happy. No. <laughs> yes, bro, I know. Kitty sounds happy too. That's no good. Kitty's uh, not even speak for me? What is this bullshit? <laughs> Vladivostok too. Well, at least you fixed your gold problems, as I said. Yep. Now, now there is a slight problem again. Now, this is kind of a, your decision about keeping army in front of him. This basically stops you from building markets and coliseums. Yep. And now and now what I would imagine Fred is doing right now, he is trying to get coliseums at least. In the meantime. And also he's gonna have a religion. So again it looks like his setup for the late game is much better than your setup right now. You were so gonna... on my side for the late game until that religion switched, and now you're totally on his side. Yes, totally. yes. <laughs> yeah, that religion flipped a lot of stuff. Well, actually, not religion. That, that we missed so the now, Stonehenge. So now, retrospect, Stonehenge. still a good idea to move the prophet? Uh, well, if you... Well, basically, we, we missed the Stonehenge, but if you actually knew about Stonehenge... <laughs> no, I knew about Stonehenge in the game. I didn't miss it so in that, that, that was a bad idea. But I told, but I told you, it was, only, it was only two or three turns... Like yes. before my religion popped out. Yes, but that, that was a bad, bad idea after all. Because, you know, if he builds shrines anyways, and like you did not build shrine in any of your cities. So basically, like if he builds shrines, that's 5 faith plus Stonehenge, that's 10 faith. There's no way you can just get the religion on, on iron alone versus that. If you knew about Stonehenge, you only need to build shrines. 
<laughs> Zaki. Get religion first, win a duel. <clears throat> okay. What you doing there? <laughs> oh wow, filthy. Oh. Seriously? Seriously. You no. My God. Defense. What do you think of that general placement? You like it? Nice and strong? No. Defensive general? What do you need? No, it looks great. It's a problem. One unit for two units. Okay, you killed off two units, and he's going to kill off how many? Go on, how many? Well, you just gave him time to actually decide slowly. Hmm, he already no, actually, shot everything. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's figure out how to get the general. <laughs> He's going to get your general, right? I'm not telling you. <laughs> he's gonna get your general. Yes, he's gonna get you. No, he's general. not. He's not getting my general. My general. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! You're not even looking at it now. <laughs> There's no point. It's out of movement. I can't. I can't change anything about that now. What do I want to watch it as it dies? No. I don't want to see it as it dies. Oh yo yo. At least your economy is quite good. <laughs> That's true. Very uh, I gotta admit, when it comes to fighting, you underestimate Fred a little bit in this game. Oh, you moved. Oh, good. That was good. That was quite good. One, two. Hmm. So I have two chariots with insta heals, which is pretty good. I mean, if I can get either of those insta heals off, they're gonna soak a lot of damage. Yeah. But he is top army right now by like. Yeah, but but first you gotta move the general out of the harm's way. Yeah, he's not in range of anyone. Unless there's something in the fuck in the north. Or if they kill both those chariots, but then they get. No, so no, no. They 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 won't be able to reach it. That was a very good move there. Wantal should be able to save him though. Unless there are sneaky sneaky horsemen or a magical unit will appear he's got at the end of the turn. Too. So he can yeah. run very quickly. Very quickly. Okay. Heal, heal, heal. Go, Chariots, go! Heal! Heal! Uh oh. Oh wow. my goodness. What a horrible spot for racing. Yeah, it's pretty bad for racing. And, uh, oh, good, good oh, and two Chariots down. Yeah. No, yeah, both my Chariots die in the racing. Yes. With the heals. Horrible. Well, at least your general is safe. <laughs> True. I gotta look on the bright side, right? Recently yes. killed my insta-heal chariot. At least I have the general still. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exit ban. Fred did win the Brazil duel. Give me back my tech view. Take a few, please. And, well, you almost saved Bryansk. Almost. <laughs> almost. It only cost me. Yes. Only chariots. Yes. <laughs> See, this is like the part when I, I kind of disagree with what you're doing. You'd like, like the economy more? Yeah, just a tiny bit. Maybe not like 100%, but at least like 50% economy. But risk it a little bit, because... Down there? Hmm? You think I should just let that bottom city burn? Yep. You can't defend it. <laughs> and it's worthless for you. You don't even it has have a, a war boat. Nine turn spearman. It's just like the Brazilia or whatever it was, the glorious <laughs> city last year. <laughs> I really could do with another worker right now, and I suppose Coliseums are a thing, although I'm worried about my gold return. I suppose markets are a thing, really. I gotta say. I Market think majority of you of, of people watching us right now wants you to win. <laughs> that's good. It's not even my time zone, so that's so pretty. <laughs> they don't know for Dodo though. So. I yeah, think yeah, I, I think a market in that northern city would be really good. It has so much gold income. It's got like Rostov, eight or nine. Rostov, Rostov yeah. market. Yeah, Desperately needs a market. 
Yep. You know what well, I never oh. built there this entire game? I'm going to tell you right now, small spoiler. Yes. It never builds a market. No, I can't. Uh, now I, you, you took away all my hope. All my hope. <laughs> yeah. You got a first move, though. Nice. See how sadly, because he he's clicking it, right clicking it. Yeah, yeah, but sadly you can't really like make anything out of it. Well, if I flicker on the horseman, I could have killed. Maybe. Actually, I don't know. I don't think it's quite enough for us. Well, the good thing about all of this, though, Fred is making a road to the front. Now, the question yep. is: Is he going to plant his uh, Barringer crater, or is it just a road to to advance on top of you? Oh, <laughs> Nice plant over there. Because uh, Brinsk is actually putting a zone of control for his city. That's kind of annoying. He can't settle the silk in any way, really. Hey, he's a lie. He can settle behind, like where I settle. No, he can't. No, he can't. He's actually blocked. He'd have to settle the, the hill at the very bottom. I got a little bit of happiness again. I'm not growing anywhere. I guess a caravan here could be a thing. I don't know what city would need it, though. Maybe the southern city on the mountain. Machinery 14 turns. Woohoo! Would be right. so much so faster. I'll put enough post that it will, uh, that I won't even need to. <laughs> that I'll put enough pump post, my, my tech will go down to zero. No. Yeah, no. we don't need no freaking expo. No. Don't tell me you're not gonna get crossbows. No. <laughs> no. No. Those aren't needed this game, of no. I mean, expos aren't needed. We have no. chariots. We don't need expos. No. Mm. <laughs> Don't make me swear. Don't make me swear and put this Don't on YouTube it. for adults. No, I'm not gonna swear. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no markets and no expos. We don't want them. Don't... Dude, would you really buy. Would you build markets now? You're only 14 turns away from machinery. Do you need markets? Why would you spend 8 turns building a market or something and then, uh. If you're gonna get machinery in 14 turns, anyways. <clears throat> Mm, potential chance for workshop later on. Swordsmen, knights, Is that the tech pikemen. Path? After uh, after uh, crossbows, you go uh, workshops. Of course. I just assumed you went for knights next. <clears throat> well, depends. Depends on personal preference, basically. Most of the well, if you would ask Tony, he would go for knights, of course. But seeing in here. Uh, well, basically going for workshops is the risky move. Or uh, going for knights, it's a less risky move. But considering that a chance, if if like you both gonna go get crossbows, the chance of you actually reaching knights is quite slim. <laughs> yeah. So workshops will be if you get workshops and by a chance, uh, even. Yeah, then it will be so much more beneficial for you. And later on, yes, you can try to tech for knights. If you, at the same time, basically, you look at it like this way. Uh, there's two options, basically. Option number one, you aim for knights and you try to fight with knights. But this takes away the risk that if you're going to reach knights, first of all, you got to slow down the unit production to reach knights. And then you can't really get to workshops. Okay, and now there's also a chance that the other player will actually get to workshops before you can kill him with crossbows and knights. He gets the hammer boost and he try starts to push you off with crossbows. And you there's also a chance that your opponent might pick up uh, masonry somewhere along the line. In which case, <laughs> I don't really know what you do. Forfeit, perhaps. <laughs> so I hear you. There's, I, I hear you. I, I, don't, I don't mean to make light. Because it, it does actually sound like there's a there's an interesting potential gameplay there with uh, the decision you make between machinery and, and uh, knights. I've just never had a duel go that long, so I didn't. Now, know. basically, in duels, in duels, you go at least from my personal preference, uh, let's say experience. In duels, you kind of want to get workshops. In teamers, it's a very risky move because in teamers, there's like so many cities, so many production that actually a wave of knights can decide a game. 
in team in, in a duel it's not really that big of an issue right because you still are pumping out crossbows if you don't feel comfortable you don't have to build workshops you can get another wave of crossbows but if you feel comfortable with the position and army side you just sneak in a couple of workshops just like you could sneak in one market at a time basically <laughs> gotcha. Now I kind of uh, I kind of like what's happening right now with this Bryansk city. Now Fred is losing tons of gold by building roads to Bryansk, and you are trying to defend it, which gets him out of position from time to time, which is quite neat. That city is like a psychological city. It's a worthless city. Okay, it has no infrastructure at all. Fred doesn't need it. And for now, his mind is like set up on this city. He's like, I want to take Bryansk. And actually, he's getting flanked right now, which works in your benefit. So if he's not reinforcing, there is a chance actually that you can push him back to his borders, which is quite neat. Yep. Yep. And my coffee has ended like an hour ago. Cry, cry, cry. <laughs> Might be time to switch to the beer. Oh, uh, no. Got to work tomorrow. No beer. Beer. Remember, it's 11 p.m. in here. Got to go true. to work in eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I'm just spamming compos right now, I'm trying to push them out of my lands, take control of the middle. Basically, what I'm trying to do is just get machinery already. Can, can, can yep. I get in here? Like, uh, I was just trying to add about your explanation about spamming composite. I would add, like, a filthy spamming composite because he never wants to get the crossbows. <laughs> That's correct. Screw crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> and I will laugh very, very hard if you actually won't get crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> Start laughing. <laughs> Seriously? I'm <laughs> not telling you. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Okay, at least you're pushing him off. Now, knowing you, this should put you on a frenzy, and it's going to be like, okay, he's backing up. Crush, filthy <laughs> crush, filthy smash. <laughs> filthy smash. There's an icon for that. Let's, let's put that in chat real quick. Hold on. No, we'll just do that. <laughs> We're working on another one. It's going to get slightly updated, but that's the current filthy smash icon. So. What the heck Sorry. is that? <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. That's why it's getting updated. It's a, that's a, it's a Cylon shooting a laser beam out of its eyes. That's what that it, is. It, it doesn't look like a Cylon. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't draw it. You have to, you have to yard, star. <laughs> that's not a Cylon. Side. Look at it on the side. <laughs> gotta use your imagination. You gotta use my imagination. Oh my god. No. This looks terribly bad, actually. This <laughs> icon looks terribly bad. Uh oh. Czar, we're all terribly bad. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him that. I'm gonna tell him that. He's never gonna watch your stream again. <laughs> 